doing today? Sorry, couldn't find everybody. But I think we got it now. Y'all having a good day? I've got it now. What? There we go. I'm sorry this is taking so long. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. All right. Who we got watching? I know you're watching. We're going to make a bumblebee. I've been wanting to try this for a while, so let's do it. First, we're going to work on the head of the bumblebee because that's where I'm starting. Nobody wants to say hello. You're all just going to sit there. There you go. Hey, Donna. Welcome. Looks like you and you're the only one that wants to talk to me today, Donna. There's others on here. They're shy. But that's okay. Now let me see if I remember how to do this. <laughs> We're going to be learning together. Alright, so first we're going to start with the head. Now I've showed you these before. I love these. These are by Clover. They come two in a pack. You get the smaller one, which we're going to use for the head, and then you get the bigger one. Alright, so one's a, like a, one is a two and a half inch, and the other's like a three and three eighths. We're making some bumblebees, Vicki. Thanks for talking to us. You and Donna are the only ones that want to say hi today. All right, so we're just going to keep winding and winding and winding. The more you wind, the fatter your pom-pom is going to be. Okay, so we're just going to keep winding and winding. Y'all having a good day? I'm glad. So do I, right? Hi, Vanessa. How are ya? We're just making the head of the bumblebee. Alright. I love with working with pom-poms. You can do a lot with pom-poms. I mean, you all have seen my, my uh, Valentine's wreath I made with the pom-poms. I made the... Um, the garland with Valentine's for Valentine's Day with pom poms, and we took cardboard. I'm glad you're doing great there in Maryland. So I'm just going to wind it a little more, make it a little thicker. You really can't make a mistake on a pom pom, except when you have a knot that shows up. There we go. And with these, you can't make a mistake. You can get these on Amazon. You can get these in any sewing store. All right, so basically you took half of it, okay, and you wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. Then you're going to close this, and then you're going to take your yarn, and you're going to go to the second one, and we're going to continue to wrap. Now, you got to watch because sometimes this happens. You don't want it to get stuck on this heel part here. So you just take it off and start back over. Just watch yourself. But you can go all the way over to the end and back again and then back again again. 75, <laughs> that's a lot of pipe cleaner bees. Woo, what are you doing with all those, Vicki? 
puppies are doing great. I posted a video last night on, I have several Facebook pages. One's called Robin Stitches and Robin's Yorkie Nest. I posted a video on there last night because some of the new puppy parents are going through withdrawal because they haven't seen their babies in a couple of days. So I posted that over there. I just had the first group to the vet this morning. You know how hard it is to take seven puppies to the vet and wait in the room for 45 minutes, 50 minutes actually, for the vet to come in. Uh, I always take a little pen with me so I can put them on the ground, you know, in their little pen because usually someone gets car sick or someone poops in the crate on the way there and I usually have to clean somebody up. Nobody got car sick, nobody pooped. So it's a good day when you go to the vet and you don't have a mess because we just bathed the one whole litter last night and trimmed them up. So there's my girl. Hey, LaVon. We're making a bumblebee. All right. So then what you do is you close it shut. Oh, no. I forgot my little scissors. Err. I don't know if these are going to work. I got to go up and get my little scissors, guys, because there's no way they're going to go through that. So talk amongst yourselves, and I will be right there. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Like, I don't know if you guys saw this. At Valentine's Day, we did this with all the pom-poms. Did I go away? It's just showing me back. Anyhow. Okay. There's just a big delay. Sorry about that. All right. So if I don't catch your comments, I will go back afterwards. Looks like I got comments again. Okay, all right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep this closed, okay? And there is actually a ridge in here. So what you do is you go back, and don't get nervous doing this, but you go back in the ridge, while keeping it closed, and you cut down the middle of the ridge, all right? from side to the other side. So now what you have is this fuzzy looking thing that if this opens up, you're, you're in trouble. <laughs> so what you do is you take another piece of yarn and you take it through that middle ridge and you're going to tie it really tight, as tight as you possibly can get it. And this is the only black and yellow I could find. I like a thicker one, but this is all that we could find. Okay. So I got that tight as, tight as tight as possible. Now, how does this come off again? Okay. You have to pull it apart now. See? All right. So it totally comes apart. All right, now you take your scissors and you trim off your little tails there. You fluff it out. I mean, doesn't that look like a really nice pom-pom? You just sometimes have to go around and just trim off the little loosey-gooseys that are sticking up. Okay, so that's, oh, there's another Lucy Goosey. Just make sure. There we go. So, okay, that's going to be the head to our bumblebee. All right? So, then you just put it back together. Now, 
we're going to do the body. And for the body, we're going to use the bigger one. All right. Now, this is going to be a little bit different. All right. We are going to start with the black. All right. And we're going to do four sections on this. Black, yellow, black, yellow. And then we're going to do the same on this side. Black, yellow, black, yellow. All right. This is going to be the body of your B. Thank you, darling, for blessing my page. All right, so we're going to get really, really heavy here. And it's awkward when it's on the end, because like I said, I'm trying to keep it off this heel and keep it strictly on the half circle there. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to kind of cut this in in quarters. All right. So that's about yeah, that's about what I want as far as black. So I'm going to go back over it a couple times because the thicker, the better. All right. So I'm going to do it about four times. And then I'm going to leave that hang like that. All right. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'm going to tie it to this one. That way I'm assured it's not going to come unraveled until I'm done and I do my cutting. Okay. So all I did was tie a knot at the back. Now we're going to take the yellow. All right. Now, see, you're supposed to pull that out the middle. Isn't that how you're supposed to start it? Yeah, there we go. All right. Hi, Debbie. All right, so now we're going to do, and leave yourself a little bit of a tail there. So now we're going to do a section of yellow. Like I said, it's a little awkward when you first start it out, but once you get the hang of this, you got it. And you just keep going over it about three, four. Like I said, the thicker the better. And this isn't going to be a long, um, I just popped on long enough to do this. Okay. had a couple events here that have just been horrible and I didn't want you to think uh, I forgot about you. I just needed some space. All right. Now I'm going to move that up a little because I kind of want it to be the halfway point. So again, I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail. I'm going to trim these up. There we go. So we're going to do the same. Now we're doing the black. And I'm going to do it three or four times. All right. I just want it really thick because the thicker, the better. You have less that you have to deal with. And I'm not sure if this this is going to be too big. Like I know I have a smaller one, so I may have to graduate down to a smaller size, but I did bring some small pom-poms, pre-made ones down with me if the head is too big. Because this is my first time making one of these, so I wanted to be prepared. And I didn't have time to like do it ahead of time to see if it worked. And again, you want to keep it off the heel. Alright. And we're going to tie it off. Then I'm 
going to go over to this side and I'm going to start with the black again. Hi Bev, how are you? We're making a pom-pom bumblebee. I think it'll look cute up here on my bee gnome wreath that Yvonne said, Lavon said I had to have down here. All right, so we're gonna do this about four, three or four or five times, however many you want. The more you do, the thicker it is. Yikes. And I couldn't post the picture because I hadn't made it yet, so. I thought I did send it, Levon, for Facebook. Oh no. Sorry you feel that way. Put some ice on the back of your neck. It'll draw the blood vessels down off the front to the back. It'll make you feel better. All right, so next. We did black, so we're following suit. We're going to do yellow. And make sure you go on and like my, my new Facebook page. I pinned the, uh, the link to the top of the page. And because we can no longer use ManyChat to let you know when we're going live, um, I'm probably going to start doing my lives on Facebook on YouTube so if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel you need to do that because you will be alerted when I go live on YouTube but you won't be alerted now that Facebook has changed the rules all right so I'm tying it off oh, the anticipation builds we only have two more stripes left to go then wait do you see our little bee I want to know who's going to go out and get one of these and try it. You're welcome. That will really help. That in a dark room. Geez, if you were close, I could bring you some peppermint to rub on your forehead. That would really take it away. It takes the pain away. It kind of numbs it. Right. One more stripe to go. You guys are going to love this. Hey. All right. And with these, it's just so easy. All right. So now we're doing our last stripe of yellow mellow yellow yeah let's put a little more on there really make it pop all right i'm going to tie it off because i don't want it to come unhinged And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and trim up some of these tails so I don't have to worry about them when I'm tying the pom-pom, that they'll be hanging out everywhere. I'll trim them now before I cut. Like I said, this is just going to be a short live all right, so I'm cutting it. I mean, I'm, I'm putting it back together. I love these scissors. These are Fiskar scissors. These are really pointy. And they have a little thing here that keeps it closed. I love these scissors. And they're great for cutting these pom-poms. All right, so now we're going to cut down the middle. Keep it closed. Because if you don't keep it closed... You got a mess on your hands. Let's 
it's best to kind of keep your finger here to hold it shut. All right. Now, I think we will use this. Hey, Johnny. All right. So then we tie down the middle as tight as you possibly can because that's going to give you a nice thick pom-pom. Then you pull it apart. Uh-oh, I really got it tight on here. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. All right. Look at that. See how all your stripes match up? Is that not adorable? And then, like I said, you go around and you kind of fluff everything up, trim the excess pieces, kind of put your stripes in order. Okay? See, I'm just kind of pinching my black stripes together, separating them from the yellow stripes. And voila, we got a bee body. Isn't that cute? Now, I really think this head is too big, but I don't know. What do you think? You think that head is too big? <laughs> you can get these on Amazon. <laughs> but look at that. And then I thought we'd take this. We can actually use this for the little antlers and we can use it for the bee wings too, right? If we wanted to, we could even put, um, and this is my tinsel ties. You know me and my tinsel ties. Okay, so I'm making a little set of wings here. But like you can use anything So there's my wings. Let's trim those. Yikes, I forgot to plug in my glue gun. Oh no. Well, there it is. I don't know, I, like I said, I brought little pom-poms down, but that makes the head too little. So I think maybe I should have used like the next size down from this. But if you would see my craft room, I can't even find it. So I'd open up a new pack. <laughs> it's that bad. All right, so we got wings. So let's do some antlers or antennae or whatever you call it. Yeah. I... I actually, I don't know if you know, Denise, but I actually printed the fabric on this. I found out how to sublimate on fabric. See, I kind of like this because it's sparkly and it kind of stands out. I have little wiggly eyes I could use too. But see, if I had thicker wool, I think it would have made it even thicker. But still, it's kind of cute, don't you think? You just kind of got to pinch your, your stripes together. And then we got little wings. That's true. Okay, hon, go feel better. Maybe I will cut this and put one set on one side and the other set on the other side. I just kind of wanted it to kind of stick out. You need to send me pictures. I want to see what you guys make with my signs. Just got a pinch. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Got 
gotta wait for that glue gun to heat up a little, guys. I'm just sick of seeing those little styrofoam bees that just, they're cute, but it's like, let's make a bee. Isn't that cute? I could go nuts just trimming all the time. I still think the head needs to be just a little bit smaller though but until I find my other one this will have to do so we're going to put our little antennae in there I think I think I have some small yellow pom-poms. Yes. Yes, I do. I think the small yellow pom-poms will look cute on the edge of the little antennae. Hey, Lisa. Welcome. And I don't know, did you see George? My George is a daddy. I have a little grandbaby named Gordon. And these are some of the new signs I just came out with for children's rooms. And then my Joey is gonna be a daddy in June. Got another grandbaby on the way. Now, isn't that cute for the head? And then we put on the wings. <laughs> and then we'll put on the wings. And voila, we got a little pom-pom bee. I bet you guys didn't even know you could do that. And look, I'm doing it without burning myself. Woo! And I think this would look cute on my gnome wreath. What do you think? I think I love my gnome wreath. And I'm in the process of designing um, a cardinal sign for cardinals. You are going to love it. Okay. And we'll just put that on there. So who's going to try and make one? Anybody? Gotta hold it a minute. This might be a little bit harder. I may have to stick a dowel through here to give it some more stability. And I have little wiggly eyes I could use. What do you think? Does it look like a bumblebee? Oh, Donna, well, you saw our, our girl sign, didn't you? This is cute because you can go ahead and put the child's name up here and put their name. Like you could put the first name and then the middle name. 
Um, we have this boy one. We have a girl one. We have a horse license plate. This is for my new grandson due in June. There's a little ballerina in a tutu. And then we've got my one grandson loves construction vehicles. And look at this one. Isn't this pretty? They're doing girls' rooms in um, Deer now also. And I think that was it. And then my new signs. Stop and smell the flowers. And follow your dreams. And then see we have this in blue and pink. And we have the lemonade sign too. Or you could put your honey's name on there. And we have bee and ladybugs. I mean, you see my bee kind up here and my bee. Yeah, this is just a little, here, yeah, we'll just give it another spot of glue. Actually a lot to hold it. Well, what do you think? Beautiful? <laughs> Oh, who said beautiful? Denise did. Sorry, Denise, I just saw that. But there you go. You can make anything with these pom-pom holders. I mean, you saw what I did for Valentine's. We just took a AC Moore frame, framed it out with pom-poms, and put a stuffed heart in the middle. There's a lot to do with pom-poms. Well, look at this. There we go. I'll have him smelling on some flowers. I still think his head's a little too big. I think it needs to be just the next size down, which would put it about maybe that big. But at least you get the concept of how to make the uh, stripes, right? Does anybody have any questions? Like I said, I, this was going to be a short one because I've been wanting to make one of these and I didn't, hadn't gotten around to it. And I was late getting back from the vet, taking all those babies to be vet checked. I have a little report card that she fills out. So everybody got an A on their report card. Thank you. Thank you. I think somewhere up here I can fit that in. Don't you think? Maybe about right there? Or up here on the flower? I'm going to make a smaller head. That, that head is just a little too big. But I have, like I said, I have to find the next size down from the two and a half. I think I have a one and three quarters. And I think that would work better. So who's going to try one? Is anybody going to try one? You're going to get, um, it's called Clover Pom Pom Maker. I, I have, what I should have done, I have the size bigger than this. So since I couldn't find the size smaller than this, I should have taken this and put it with the bigger one. Then it would, it would look right. Like this head, this head should have went on the bigger one. And the smaller one should have went on the bigger body. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long night. <sighs> Again, you won't be getting a live alerts from me anymore. So you need to go onto my YouTube channel and subscribe because you will get live alerts on there. I will post the uh, link to my um, my 
YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And when I start going live on this, Does it really do any good to be put on the do not call list when you have people still insisting on calling your um, your cell phone? <sighs> All right, I pinned it to the top. So if you don't mind, go onto my YouTube channel and like my YouTube channel because eventually I will stop doing lives here and they will only be there. And that's the only way you'll get notified because I did not ask for email addresses or phone numbers or anything like that I think it ended last night at midnight so everybody was doing it and we had a lot going on yesterday a lot of bad things happening in the area and I just shut down so You think it looks fine? Really? I think it looks like it's got a humongous head. But I think it'll look cute. I just I just think it'll look cuter if we have a smaller smaller head. That's all. That's just me personally. I appreciate the the you know the comment though, Denise. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm going to head up, um, and uh, like I said, go on to my YouTube channel, and all your instructions, if you ever want to get one of these pom-pom holders, everything's right on the back, and all you have to do is go back to my Facebook page and look under videos, it's all there, okay, and you can just watch the replay, all right? All right, and like I said, we got more signs coming, so, and we got kits and everything else, so if anybody needs anything, or, or wants, you know, a big-headed bee, <laughs> just contact me, all right? All right, guys, thanks for joining me, thanks for spreading the love, again, I know. Thank you, Levon. It means a lot. I just can't wrap my head around it all. You know, two children. That's just... Oh, well. All right, dear. Thank you, and I'll see you all soon. Look for me Mondays at 645 and Wednesdays at 2. If I'm not here, you'll find me on YouTube, okay? All right, have a great